This is Math 98. This is the final practice. It's problem 13, and we are supposed to solve this by any method. So I am going to use the uh, the quadratic formula, and what I could do is I just could start plugging in, um, you know, b's four, a's two, c's negative eight, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'll get the right answer if I do it. Um, the other thing I could do, just as a little shortcut, is I could divide everything by two. So notice if I divide everything by two, it just gives me smaller numbers to work with. Minus four, and then zero divided by two is zero. That's gonna have the same roots, the same solutions as the other one. So again, if you wanna run this through quadratic formula with two, negative four, negative eight, that's what I did on the written practice test. Um, but what you could do as well is if they're all divisible by something, just divide it out, and now you have smaller numbers to deal with. Um, so let's see, b is negative two, so it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c all over two a. All right, and let's keep going. Negative negative two is two. Two squared is four. Uh, four plus, plus 16. And that is all over two. So then I have two plus or minus the square root of 20 over two. Uh, 20, four times five, those are still square rooted, so this is two root five. Two plus or minus two root five over two. Everything's divisible by two, so I can divide it out. One plus or minus root five. 